go down this way? Yeah, I can go down there. Oh. There you go, mate. I'm pretty good. I've got the young fellas back anyway. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Hazard. Good. Now, Harry and I, Harry's saying this looks like a good spot. I can see what you've pulled up here. Oh, dead. Very similar to the water that we got the doubles on last time. All yeah. right. Mate, all right, let's get some gear out and give it a crack, eh? Yeah. Awesome. Right. Hey, mate. Hello. What's going on? Not much. I no, went down there out of cast and you stuck in here. How'd you go? What do you got? A uh, little dewy, I think. A little dewy, you reckon? Yeah. Oh, look at that go. I think it is too. Hey, buddy. Where's your dad? He's disappeared when we need a hand off him. Oh, it is too. I'll go and grab it for you, eh? Okay. Look at that. Well done, mate. Thanks. Hey. Well done, champion. Look at him. Beautiful looking fish. There we go. That out of there. That out of there. Woo! <laughs> there you go. What do you reckon, eh? Yeah. I'm a great looking fish. Yeah. Wow, and he'd probably be, he's about 60 centimetres long, I guess. Straight on it. And uh, look, beach worms. Squid, it doesn't really matter. I, th I think beach worms are probably the best bait for you. What do you reckon, Harry? Yeah. I know your dad likes them. How, how good is he at catching beach worms? Eh? Are you going to be as good as him one day? Don't know. You don't know? <laughs> and how big these things, are, they can grow into monsters. They can get right up yeah. around 40 kilos. This bloke's probably about two and a half, three kilos. Yeah. Imagine catching one 40 kilos. That would be bigger than you. That'd hey? be fun. That would be fun. And look, catching Mulloway off the beach, it's one of those bucket list things to do. So um, we'll talk about the tackle and the gear that you need in a minute. But uh, he's only a little bloke. You can imagine catching one up around that 35, 40 kilos. Uh, such a great fish. And uh, we're in the right part of the world here as it gets dark and, and, that, uh, and that tide starts coming in. You never know when a big one's going to come in. But look, fish this size, they're just great fun. Well done, mate. Thanks. I'm getting, I'm getting back in the water, eh? Yep. All right. There you go, buddy. Woo! Hey guys, Harry. And if you watch Real Action, you know I love I love chasing mulloway, dewfish, whatever you want to call them. Beach worms on the beach, fantastic dewfish bait. And uh, Kane, my mate here I'm fishing with, and he's young bloke Harry's giving me a few tips here where we're just um, using these big beach worms. And Kane went and caught those uh, yesterday afternoon for us, and he's such a great catcher of beach worms. You've never seen anybody like it pulling them out. So these are quite large beach worms. So just threading them through and breaking them off. So there's a lot of scent coming out with they gutter there. Now I've got this uh, snooted rig that I like to use. So I've actually got two hooks on there. So I'm using a bit of a 60 pound leader and then onto my, uh, onto my, my sinker here, which is running, which is one of those beach sinkers and you just adjust the weight to suit. So uh, that's the rig, big spin reel. And if I sit it down in the holder, I've got that uh, bait runner type scenario there that I can click into gear. And it's uh, up around that eight to 10 kilo beach rod, plenty of power, this one here. And uh, it's gonna do the job if a big mulloway comes along. So Harry's got had a good start, now it's my go. Young Harry's on again. He sure is a keen young fisherman. And at the moment, he's teaching me a few tricks. Oh, look at you go, Harry. Oh, a little. <laughs> well done, mate. Another little mulloway. Nice little one. Beautiful, mate. Look at him. He's a cute looking fish. And you've got the two. So we've got the two options here with your rig. So I've got. Where is it going? I think I'm still on it. There we go. So we've had the beach worms on this end. Oh, a little blood there. Beach worms on that end and the squid on this end. And this bloke's climbed on the squid again. So. So it's a good idea to have two different types of baits, isn't it? Because you know what they're feeding on that yeah. way. And then if you get a bite on one, they might feed on the other one. That's right. So the squid are definitely doing the trick at the moment. He's a beautiful little fish, that fella. Yeah. Wow. Oh, get a bite? 
Yeah, I had a little. Plenty of action. <laughs> Plenty of action happening here, that's for sure. All right, mate, we're getting back in the water, right? Eh? Yep. Not as big as your first one. No. I think it's looking pretty good for this evening, though. And Mulloway Elite, a range of different types of baits from, of course, we know about live baits, but, but uh, when you're fishing dead baits like this, um, beach worms, pippies, uh, squid, pilchards, any type of cut fish bait works really well. Tailor, if you're fishing somewhere where there's tailor or salmon, fresh tailor or salmon uh, fillets, fillet those out and get those out there. They work really, really well. Uh, I do like that making tide generally, that ri rising tide, but we haven't got that at the moment. I've got that low tide just about now, and then it's going to start to run in and fill this gutter up in front of me. It's going to be quite deep here, and I think a little bit later on after dark, you never know, you're always a chance of a bigger fish as well. So uh, we're probably a bit uh, fishing a little bit uh, too heavy for fish this size at the moment, but you never know when that big mulloway is going to come sneaking along the beach. Uh, I've got a, a river mouth not far away from here and uh, of course on that run out tide there's always there's always all sorts of things getting flushed out mullet and different types of bait so those big fish are never too far away Woo. you're on again champion yeah <laughs> feels like a better fish feels like a better one yep that's the go oh, it's a good time of day now isn't it? the sun's going down and yep they're coming back on the bite eh yeah. Oh, look at that reel go. Woohoohoo! Hang in there, champ. <laughs> yep. Oh, awesome. And what's the biggest mulloway you've caught? 83 centimetres. All right, here he is. Nice one. Woo! Look at him. Well done, Harry. Thanks. How fat is he? Yeah. Wow, you want to hang on to my rod and I'll pick him up for you? That's a cracker. Hey? Check him out. Well done, buddy. Thanks. 83. Well, I reckon he's up around 75, that one. Yep. Beauty. And the sun's just going down. Once again on that squid, they're really taking to the squid at the moment, aren't they? Yeah. Slowly getting bigger. He gave you a good tussle, didn't he? You got that foam all over him. Broken away. Well done, mate. Thanks. Look how big he is through the shoulders, that fish. That's a beautiful fish. And if you've never caught a, a mull away off the beach, then uh, you need to get yourself organised. The country is full of beaches, they're everywhere. You don't need a, a fancy boat or a real flash four wheel drive. You can quite often just park and walk down. I'm down with Harry, I'm down here with Harry and his dad at the moment. And I'll tell you what, they're just getting better and better. Mulloway love to feed at night. The sun goes down and Harry steps it up a gear. And yes, he's on again. What do you got, mate? Oh, look at you go, another one. Well done, champion. That's a good one, isn't it? Yep. Well done, buddy. They're getting bigger, eh? Look at yeah. that little bit of water, still washing him in. So we can get him up, eh? You wanna hang on to my rod and I'll pick him up for you? Not a bad little beach session here, are we, for the Mulloway? Young Harry. Look at that. Well done, mate. Show everybody at home. See inside their mouth, they've got that yellow interior section there, those sharp, gripping teeth. And as it gets dark, they become more and more active. They're such a nighttime predator, the old Mulloway. Well done, champ, you've got to be happy with that. Yeah, thanks. Hey? <laughs> Harry's fighting, and finally, so am I. He's not very big, but it's a Mulloway, just the same. I think Harry's been on fire this afternoon and into the evening. There's another beautiful little mulloway. It just shows they're in big numbers here. And there's just such a beautiful fish. If you've never caught a mulloway of any size before, it's one that you've got to, you've got to tick off that bucket list. It's great fun, isn't it, Harry, out here yeah. chasing them around? So uh, do yourself a favour. Find yourself a local beach. Look for those deep gutters, those deep holes, tide changes. And if you get a tide change right on dark like we've had this evening, you're going to see plenty of action. But uh, yeah, beautiful fish like that. He's only a little bloke, and we'll come back and see you when you get a bit bigger. He might be a little bit better anyway. It won't have to be too big to be bigger than my first one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a little bloke, I think, this one. Yeah, but once again, this is on the 
squid. And I've got to tell you, he's not a lot bigger than the first one I caught either. Oh, he's a little bit there. He's a little bit bigger. There you go, mull away on the beach, and it doesn't have to be as hard as it looks. And I don't know how many we've got, about a dozen or 13 fish all together, so pretty good session. All right, mate, we'll get this bloke back in the drink, and we'll head off. We'll catch you next time. That's been pretty good, hasn't it, mate, eh?